definitely a five pounder. What's going on everyone, it's Grant back with another week of me trying to catch the biggest bass that I possibly can. And yesterday I caught a really good fish. Also caught a few more with it that weren't as big, but some really good fish. Also some really cool footage. At the end of this video, you'll see a lot of that sweet footage of some awesome bass attacks. So make sure you watch this whole video, check it out. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate the support. If you've been around for a while, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and if you are subscribed, subscribe to this channel. I can't do it without you, and I wanna make this channel as interactive as I possibly can. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what lures you're using. Tell me what swim baits you're tossing. I wanna to have a conversation with all of you, so make sure you do that. One thing that I wanna do with this channel is start doing product reviews. Now, I really haven't done any product reviews in the past, but I would love to start doing uh, some swim bait product reviews, considering there's a lot of swim baits that I haven't tried and I would love to try. Also, I may do some conventional gear product reviews, although I really haven't fished conventional gear in a while. I'll take a, a normal setup out every now and then, but it's really rare for me to do that, considering I just started fishing big swim baits a couple years ago. If I get back into tournament fishing, which I only fished tournaments for one year, if I get back into that, I'll probably do some more conventional gear videos. I'll also probably do some more conventional gear product reviews, but that's a big if. So the product that I wanna talk about today is actually one that I've been trying to, to get my hands on for a while. I just haven't ordered it yet. So I ordered it recently knowing that I was going to a lake that produced a lot of shad. I tried it out, caught a few small ones, but I decided to actually give it a go yesterday at a pond that I've talked about before, which is a pond that I felt has been really depleted with the population, but it's full of shad, okay? And a shad swim bait that I'm talking about is the Savage Gear Roach, or also known as the Savage Gear Shad. I love Savage Gear. I just want to get that out there to say I love Savage Gear. I love their line through trout. I think it swims amazing. It is a bait that has produced so many fish for me, whether big or small. So I don't get in the shad. I've seen videos on YouTube of it, and it just looks great. So I'm like, hey, I've got these ponds. I have a lot of shad where I am. Big shad, small shad, big shad, big shad, small shad, regardless. These bass love to feed on these shad. So I bought it recently to see what it would do, and it produced some good bites yesterday. And I want to talk about the pros and cons to it and what I've read, and then also what I've seen. So this right here is the Savage Gear line through shad. I've got plenty of the line through trout, but I don't have a shad yet until now. And I used it yesterday and it was great. Now some of the reviews that I've read say that some out of the package don't swim very well. And if that's the case, I really don't know what to do with that. I don't know if you can tune these up very well, which I don't think that you can. I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, please correct me somebody. So you're kind of taking a risk when you see reviews that people are saying that it swims sideways. So when I got it, first things first, check to see if it swims sideways. It doesn't, it works properly, how about that? And the swimming motion on this bait is awesome like it really is incredible and I highly recommend it one of the other negative reviews that I've read is that the eyes have a tendency to pop out fall out and that the fins have a tendency to fall off which after two uses this hasn't yet which is really good and that can be any lure for that matter it's not just savage gear it's many lures that I've actually taken out of the package and they just don't swim properly they don't work well right out of the package this one is great though and now I'm going to talk about the pros the detail, and this is why I love Savage Gear, is I believe that they're super innovative. They do an unbelievable job of detail, innovation, and just making great baits that actually look like the bait itself. I have plenty of shad like this in the ponds that I fish, and they're identical to this bait. So, that is a pro. Two things that I really love about this is you can fish it slow, you can also fish it fast. One thing that I've noticed uh, with, with throwing this bait is that there's actually a, a thumping vibration to it. So you can actually fish that in murkier water, which I love. I love tossing swim baits in murky water, but it's sometimes kind of hard to know which ones to throw in murky water. Yesterday I was fishing clear water. The pond that I was at is the clearest that I've ever seen it, but I still would have thrown it in murky water. Overall, okay, overall, my impression of this bait right away is that it's awesome. I will be ordering more of these for sure. This is the seven inch. I've heard that the 10 inch is ginormous. It's just a huge bait. 
So I don't know if I'll be ordering the 10 inch. I don't know if there's a 20 pound bass waiting here in Illinois for me that wants a 10 inch. I'll probably just stick to the seven inch, but overall, it's a great product. I'm gonna recommend this product. Even if you do get a, a bad swim bait out of the package, it's only roughly $15 off of eBay. And so it's a really awesome bait. I'm gonna highly recommend it. Guys, check out this footage. It's some awesome footage. I catch a big bass, and then I also catch a couple others, and there are some really awesome strikes. I recommend this product. Check out the footage. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I hope, I hope I got that on camera and you can see that. Not a very big fish, but came right out of the weeds here and just smoked it. That was cool. Hey, it's a decent fish though. And the, uh, Two range, about a two and a half or sweet. Yes, sir. Oh, man, come on. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a good fish. Woo! Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, not as big as I thought. Still, though. Not as big as I thought. Come here, buddy. Definitely a three. Woo, muddy. Three, five, whoop, good fish. When I jumped for the first time, I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Oh, it's super muddy here. See you, bud. Good fish. Ah, falling in the water. All right. The Savage Gear is producing. All right, back at it. Some bigger fish in here. Let's get them. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, guys, it's a good fish. How about that? It's definitely a five pounder. He came up and just ate that thing. Look at that. That is a fat fish, guys. Savage gear, seven inch. Chad. Good fish. Let's get a weight on this guy. Get him back. 5'11. 5'11. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. 5'11. I'm the Shad swim bait by Savage Gear. About 10 feet out from shore, I just saw it come up and boom! Inhale it. Boom! 